Hey, welcome back to part two in the composite barrel comparison. In that first video, we went over the concept of carbon fiber wrap barrels and how proof research and Christian arms barrels attain the accuracy that they do. In the second part, we're gonna go over a couple more composite barrels, more specifically the BSF barrel and how they utilize carbon fiber around their barrels differently, but achieve the same results as proof research and Christian arms. Now, just like proof research and Christian arms, BSF barrels start out with a match grade barrel and they turn down the diameter of the barrel so that they can use carbon fiber to reinforce it. What they do after they turn down the barrel is they take a carbon fiber tube that has a larger inner diameter than the turned down barrel's outer diameter and they slide it over the barrel. Now this leaves a gap between the barrel and the carbon fiber sleeve and the carbon fiber tube is ported to allow heat from the barrel to escape. Now I'm gonna get a little off topic here, but this part of the barrel actually brought me back to my old life as a Black Hawk crew chief and mechanic in the army. But after the carbon fiber tube is slid on over the turned down barrel, at the end of the barrel, they thread on a gem nut of sorts that resembles the Jesus nut of a Black Hawk helicopter's main rotor head. Now, the reason why they call it a Jesus nut is technically it's the only threaded nut holding on the main rotor head to the aircraft. Although it utilizes pressure from a series of bolts that thread through that nut onto a pressure plate on the bottom of the main rotor shaft extension. And with split cones that evenly distribute the pressure on the top and bottom, it in a sense locks in the torque. But let me stop reminiscing and get back to the barrels, huh? The nut at the muzzle end is threaded down to apply pressure to the carbon fiber tube. And what it's doing is simple. Think of it as almost like tightening a guitar string. It doesn't quite match. With a metal wire secured at its ends, when it is loose, you can easily move the wire around. Now, as you pull the ends further from each other, the wire gets tighter and harder to move, becoming more rigid. Now, with the portion of the barrel inside the carbon fiber tube being the wire in the example, the endpoints that would be doing the pulling are the rear of the barrel by the extension and the jam nut up at the muzzle. Now, most AR barrels after the Clinton ban have come out with threaded ends. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Miss Lewinsky. But the BSF barrel is threaded a little bit further than your normal AR barrel. And that's for when the nut is threaded down, it can put pressure on the carbon fiber tube. And then the portion of the barrel between the two points gets stretched to add more rigidity because the carbon fiber tube is stronger than the steel barrel. That's how BSF barrels adds more rigidity to their barrels without applying the carbon fiber directly to the barrel. And I actually think that it has an advantage over the Proof Research and Christian Arms carbon fiber wrap barrels. Now remember in part one, I said that carbon fiber is generally an insulator of heat, especially across the threads of the fibers, but it can be a conductor along the length of the thread from end to end, especially when some graphites or diamond is added to the carbon fiber. Well, even if Proof Research and Christian Arms have added those to their carbon fibers and resins, the heat would still be traveling across the fibers, not along the length of them. That would make it more of an insulator. Now, the BSF barrels have a space between the turned down barrel and the carbon fiber tube. And this seems to me that it will have an advantage over the Proof Research and Christian Arms barrels by way of heat dissipation, giving the ability for air to travel across the barrel's surface to remove the heat. Along with porting the carbon fiber tube, BSF barrels are also able to further flute the barrel underneath the carbon fiber, providing more weight reduction. And on top of that, the fluting actually creates more surface area on the barrel for heat dissipation. Again, I could be wrong as I don't know the proprietary carbon fibers and resins that Proof Research and Christian Arms are using. But let's move on to the straight jacketed barrels. Now, I had gained an interest with straight jacketed barrels when Colin Noir uploaded his review of his upper receiver with a Telludine barrel. Now, I'm talking before his NRA rise to fame when he still did tactical reviews of The Walking Dead. No. <laughs> Maybe it was his slow, smooth, methodical style before he had good direction to amp up his presentations and humor. But after the couple of slow moving videos he posted. Obviously my first concern was weight. You know, the same kind of concern I had when I heard Kim Kardashian was pregnant. But that's neither here nor there. I guess the interest of the straight jacketed barrel system kind of died off. Well, at least for me. Then, at 2017 SHOT Show, enter Clint Walker. He introduced the Dracos line of straight jacketed barrels that are eerily similar to the Telludine barrels, and Clint Walker was able to do what Mr. Noir wasn't. He created a bunch of hype over the Dracos barrels that actually lasted and spread. 
Now, I don't know if Telludine makes Dracos barrels or if they have some type of partnership, but they're both very, very similar. But they do have one difference. Dracos has external threads to mount a muzzle brake or a suppressor. Telludine has internal threads to mount their proprietary muzzle brake. Anyways, Telludine and Dracos both turned down their barrels, like the carbon fiber barrels we talked about earlier, but they put a sleeve around it similar to BSF. But then they fill the gap between the sleeve and the barrel with their proprietary media and cap it off. I watched Telludine test footage and it does seem very convincing that they actually show the chamber temp readings, which is something I wasn't able to do with the carbon fiber reinforced barrels that I have, at least not yet. And seeing the high speed footage of the rigidity comparison between a regular barrel and one of the straight jacket systems was pretty nice and pretty convincing. Maybe their proprietary media that they pour between the barrel and jacket is considerably more rigid than carbon fiber. It's over 9,000! And in regards to the heat dissipation, perhaps the media is an amalgam of some copper or graphene epoxy that is able to conduct heat away from the bore very efficiently. Now I can't say for sure because I don't own a Dracos barrel like I do the other three carbon fiber wrap barrels, but I would like to include it in my precision rifle video series. Now remember, barrel accuracy is all about decreasing the barrel's frequency amplitude as much as possible. And the other half of barrel accuracy is hand loading and tuning a specific round to a specific barrel so that you get it to exit the bore on a frequency node. So I'm probably going to start hand loading my rounds for the Precision Rifle series. Or maybe I'll get lucky and find an ammo brand that works well enough. But I doubt it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook page where you have some fun there. And if you guys want to see my videos a couple weeks in advance of everybody else on YouTube, then stop by the Patreon page and become a patron. As well as $1 you guys get all the extras, which is early releases, extra footage, and all that jazz. Well, I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you next time. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Miss Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong.